Hey guys, how's it going? Tong here. Today I have a video comparing two video game consoles, uh, the new Nintendo 3DS and the PS Vita Slim. And uh, I want to do this video because a lot of people are going to be cross-shopping these two because they're the, the two remaining uh, dedicated portable video consoles out there. Uh, we all have the iPad and iPhone and Android phones and everything, but uh, these are the two remaining uh, dedicated video game consoles. And um, people are going to be comparing uh, one versus the other, so I'm here to give you my opinion on these since I have both of these consoles. Um, and I'm going to start by saying that uh, both of these consoles are for different purposes, basically. It depends on what kind of games you want to play, and uh, they both have their strengths and weaknesses. And I've reviewed the PS Vita in another video before, but uh, to basically go over this console again, um, for those of you who haven't watched that video, uh, the PlayStation Vita Slim um, this one is quite a bit lighter, I think. It's, it's lighter and thinner than the new Nintendo 3DS. And they improved it on some parts because they made the charging, uh, the charging port a micro USB port instead of a proprietary port, which is good. And, uh, this is really convenient because the new Nintendo 3DS has a proprietary charging port and it doesn't come with the, uh, an AC adapter at all, so you have to buy that separately, which is really annoying. But with the PS Vita, you can just take any standard uh, micro USB charger and cable and use it. And I would say the PS Vita is better at playing like Japanese role-playing games or uh, indie games. And for that, it's pretty good. And it has a better screen, in my opinion, than the new Nintendo 3DS. It's the, the colors are really sharp. Even though this is the LCD and not the old LED screen, the color the, the screen is still better than the new Nintendo 3DS. And open this up so you can compare the size of the screen. If you can see the size of the screens, um, the PS Vita Slim, even though it has one screen versus the Nintendo DS's two screens, it has a wider display and it has a higher resolution. So the screen on the PS Vita is nicer and the sound is also, I think, in my opinion, nicer too. It has two analog sticks, whereas with the new, new Nintendo 3DS, they have this little nub that they just put on there. This wasn't in the old 3DS, this is in the new Nintendo 3DS, you just put that nub, but it's still not the same as a double analog stick like the PS Vita has. So in terms of controls, uh, screen, uh, lightness, um, portability, I, I think the PS Vita has a beat. The PS Vita is better in those areas. And uh, the main problem with the PS Vita is the strength of the Nintendo 3DS, which is the game support. So like I said, the PS Vita is really good for indie games and uh, Japanese RPGs, that's a lot of that. I think I've, sh I've showed some of them before, I mean that's Disgaea, Dead or Alive, um, some of these other quirky Japanese games, Blast Blue, uh, Final Fantasy, that's all in there. But the lack of support from the major video game companies is the problem. Uh, in a lot of these games that you can find here, you can also find on the iPhone and iPad and um, Android as well, which which makes it less of a of a reason to get it because these these games are really exclusive, like Worms or um, Duke Nukem, like a lot of these Another World, like a lot of these a lot of these games you can get on other consoles. It's not exclusive. Whereas with the new Nintendo 3DS, a lot of the, these games are really ex exclusive to this console, which is the main strength of uh, of this console. So basically, the new Nintendo 3DS. Uh, the downsides are the screen isn't as good or as wide as the PS Vita um, and the charging port is proprietary. If you look on the back, it's um, it's got this weird, it kind of looks like a mini USB but it isn't a mini, mini USB and it's really weird and it doesn't come with an adapter, you have to buy that separately. And it, it weighs quite a bit more, well not quite a bit more, sorry, it weighs a little bit more than the PS Vita Slim and it is thicker too. It's you, uh, you can see it's probably like twice the, th the thickness of the PS Vita. But the main strength of the new Nintendo CDS is the game support. And it has really good games, as you would expect of Nintendo. Uh, I have Story of Seasons, which is from Harvest Moon uh, series. The Persona Q, which is the Persona series. Uh, Legend of Zelda. Pokemon, Mario. Codename Steam, which is really good. Fire Emblem. Uh, Monster Hunter, Xenoblade. Like, a lot of these games can only be found on the Nintendo 3DS, which is the main reason to get it. Like, this 3D thing is kind of a gimmick, in my opinion. Um, you can see I can turn it 
on and off, but yeah, I don't really use it much. I think it's kind of a gimmick. But the main reason why I have the 3DS is that it has these games that you can't find anywhere else. Like Fire Emblem is such a good game, and I can't find it on um, on iPad, for example. I can't find it on Android. It's it's only on Nintendo, which is the reason uh, I would I would get the system. And I'm just going to show you a bit of Fire Emblem for people who haven't played this game. It's it is a really good game. And I love tactical role-playing games. And this, I used to play this in Final Fantasy Tactics and Advance Wars before, and it's brings me back because I love I love playing uh, tactical role-playing games. And you have all the cool animations and support with people and the great storylines and everything. So another advantage of the 3DS is, of course, the dual screens that the PS Vita doesn't have. Uh, because it has dual screens, the bottom screen usually shows some like contextual stuff, uh, like menus and stuff, and uh, in this case, the status of your unit, whereas the top screen is the main gameplay screen. And yeah, this is this is Fire Emblem. It's a uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, in my opinion, pretty good game. It's tactical role playing, but it has a lot of good storylines to it, and the characters are really developed uh, in comparison to other strategy games where you pretty much don't care about the characters; they're just made out of some factory somewhere. But these, the characters are all like different in some way, so I like that. You press home button, and the other one I want to show. Everyone's already seen like Mario Kart and and Zelda and Pokemon, so I'm gonna show Codename Steam because I think this game is also really cool. Uh, Codename Steam is also a tactical role-playing game, but it's done in the third person, which is really interesting because usually uh, tactical role-playing games are done in uh, overhead view, but in Codename Steam, it's actually done in third person view, which is really cool. I'll show you how that looks like. Okay, so basically down here you can select between your characters, and in the top you see your basically your characters, but they have like a movement to them. Like the bottom status is your movement steps basically. Instead of like Final, instead of like um, Fire Emblem where you see the number of steps they can move, this one you have the steam uh, counter here and if you run out then you can't move anymore. See, and it always tracks back to where you were starting. So you have a certain number of, of uh, movement points and you can use the little nub here to control the camera. And uh, yeah, you can aim like that, and then you switch characters, and all these characters have different abilities. Like this one is a grenade launcher, and I'm actually restricted by my use of uh, movement to how many times I can fire as well. So this is a different kind of tactical role-playing game, but it's it's, a, it's pretty cool, and they uses some cool characters. Like I'm using Tom Sawyer right now, which has a little like punching punching gun. You can see I can just punch this guy. All, a lot of them are cool, are cool guns and techniques and character designs. So I like this game as well. So that's Codename Steam. And uh, it just goes to show you that, that Nintendo has some pretty cool games that the PS Vita honestly cannot match, in my opinion. This is the main reason why, um, out of these two, I actually like the Nintendo CDS better. Because even though the PS Vita has a great screen, has a great internal hardware, uh, faster, uh, graphics, memory, better display, etc. The 3DS has it where it counts, which is the game support. And no one can match Nintendo for the third for the first party titles. I think Nintendo has the best uh, first party developers, and no one can compete with that. So that's why Nintendo 3DS wins out of this comparison. In my, for me anyway. I mean for. For other people, maybe you like Japanese RPGs, indie games, then okay, PS Vita is good. But for me, the Nintendo CDS wins it because the quality of the games is so good. And you can find games that you can't find on any other system, like Mario and Pokemon and, and Zelda and Fire Emblem. So that's why, um, yeah, out of these two, the battery lives are similar. I get about six hours on each of them. Um, and they're very different. Uh, the Vita has a touch uh, touchpad at the back. and Nintendo 3DS has uh, this little button here that's a second analog stick, but neither, not many games use those features. The main attractive thing of the DS is the dual screens, 
and the 3D, but that's like a little gimmick thing. I don't really use the, the 3D, but it's there. Um, Hardware-wise, it's not that great, but anyway, the important thing is the gameplay, and um, that's why I like the Nintendo 3D. This is the Monster Hunter Edition, and it comes with Monster Hunter, which is a, a great game as well, which is also exclusive to uh, Nintendo, and the Sony used to have the support of Capcom, but I wish that the PS Vita, if the PS Vita had more developer support, it would be better, but um, yeah. Which one do I recommend? I recommend you buy the PS Vita if you like Japanese RPGs or uh, indie games or something like that. In all other cases, I recommend the, the Nintendo 3DS because the games are so good. And they have such a wide developer support and um, even though it's heavier and and uh, hardware isn't as good, but in the end it's the games that matter. So yeah, uh, let me know if you have any comments about this, but that's the PS Vita Slim versus the new Nintendo 3DS. That's it. And yeah, the, the new Nintendo 3DS, the main uh, new th improved thing about it is that they improved the 3D tracking. And I didn't explain that too much because I don't use 3D, but for those of you who 3D matters, then the new Nintendo 3DS has much better 3D than the old 3DS. So yeah, that's it.